Jazz Watch, Episode 4, with drummer and composer Jemiah Williams. My name is The Watchman, Greg Bryant. So glad to have your ear for another edition of the show. You can follow us at twitter.com slash gbjazzwatch, youtube.com for bonus material, gbjazzwatch there as well. Also on Facebook, facebook.com slash jazzwatch, and our mother site, and blog jazzwatch.wordpress.com of course we're on itunes leave us a review if you will if you dig the show and turn others on uh, to what we're doing we're excited about providing uh, more content and material in the coming weeks we're on a roll and we want to take you there with us thank you so much for listening again today's episode four with drummer and composer jemiah williams and of course if you've listened to uh, our podcast uh, episode one in our year in review for last year's uh, bright moments in recorded music the Iramage CD conflict of a man was right in there a brilliant brilliant genreless uh, foray into modern musical landscapes uh, orchestrated by drummer and composer Jemiah Williams a very very unique uh, individual uh, his style his uh, swagger his attitude his playing his conception uh, very very individualistic and you're going to hear from him in his own words uh, in just a moment first of all before we do that let's take a listen to black superhero theme song a tune again from conflict of a man Iramage is Jemiah's group that features, among others, Matt Stevens on guitar, John Ellis on tenor, Jason Moran on keys, and many, many others. Uh, check this one out. Black superhero theme song, Iramage, on Jazz Watch. <laughs> Jazz Watch with yours truly, the Watchman Greg Bryant. Time now for our interview with drummer and composer Jemiah Williams. He's, of course, the band leader of Irimage. We talked to him about that group in addition to his tenure with organist Dr. Lonnie Smith and also the brand new CD for Next Collective on Concord Records. Jemiah plays drums on it. The CD's called Cover Art, a very, very unique gathering of uh, individuals and sounds let's talk to jemiah right now on jazz watch about these projects uh, once i you know realized who's all involved you know and i know the caliber of musicians that they all are because we've all played with each other in some setting each other's bands or you know just just you know, around the city or we've all grown up, you know, some of us have grown up together. So, you know, the camaraderie and like um, the the relationships on and off the bandstand are strong. So, you know, when you put that type of uh, group together that, that really know each other and like have played together in different um, settings, then it comes off the way that it came off um, for the record. And you know, I, I think everybody's everybody was um, uh, surprised at how how effortless, effortlessly it, it came off and 
how um how good it, it ended up sounding in the end. You've been a permanent member of the trio of the great organist Dr. Lonnie Smith. Yeah. And um, he, he's just such an incredible cat that I know he keeps you you on your toes, but What's it like adding to his energy, and how do you say approach, I guess, the the organ trio in a way that I feel from the drums, from hearing you, has been very fresh and a new sound altogether? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, Doc, man, like, I mean, you, 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 he, he just never ceases to amaze me. Like, every, every night, man, he just has so much energy, and, um, it's, it's, it it was easier than I expected it to be because, I mean, pretty much when I got in the in the trio, that was like my first, maybe my first few times playing just with with organ, you know, and and you know a lot of people have horror stories about trying to lock with the organ and like, they need the bass and and everything, but Doc just has just that groove, that pulse, that just is just always there, no matter is is no matter what style what what kind of uh what what style of music it is what what groove it is what beat you know it's coming from it's always that that groove there and you know i just i just really just try to accentuate what he's already laying down and um it's been it's been really helpful for me for like you know creating and 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 um taking my sound to another level because it's 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 about just laying in the pocket sometimes and just playing the little things and just figuring out what not to play. A lot of musicians, you know, young musicians, they get caught up in just, you know, trying to prove themselves to other musicians. And then, you know, you learn, you go to school and you learn all the facility and how to get around your instrument and play all these notes. And, and you know, one of the hardest things is to learn what not to play when you realize you can play all this stuff, you know? Uh -huh, and yeah. and with Doc, that's a sensibility that I've gotten very, very, um, re really strong, stronger than, stronger than I, I thought I would, you know? It's, it's just been a natural thing to just, you know, let the music grow and just let it, you know, play for the moment and, you know, not just play just to play or just, you know, try to try to show off all you can do. You know, it's been a it's been a very a great learning experience, and you know, it's just the wisdom. It's just the wisdom that he has. Like, is 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 incredible. I mean, you know, it's it's just like you figure out what not to play. It's like sometimes you don't even say anything. We just sit and just we'll just be quiet and we'll just look at each other and just start laughing because, you know, you already know what he's thinking or what, you know, it's just like that, building that relationship too. So, you know, and then it just mirrors itself on the band thing. So it's been incredible. like i mean my, my right hand man in in the project is Corey king and like i mean we've known each other since i mean i don't even know like since we were like eight or nine you know like so uh he's one of i mean probably my oldest friend to date you know that i'm still just rocking with hard so he and i like wrote a lot of the music together or you know or you know had brought in you know just originals and you know, once we had that, um, everything else just fell into place. Like, um, Vicente is just like one of those people. I mean, he can play anything. You know, his influences are just, you know, never ending. Uh, Matt on guitar, like the same. You know, he 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 can he can go anywhere. And you know, we have 
this camaraderie that we've uh that's grown over the years with and playing with Christian Scott's band and and then uh J-Mo, Jason Moran like he was my neighbor for years um we lived in the same building and like you know I, I just remember venting to, venting to him one day about you know just side man frustrations and just like you know when I first just started really working and just like oh man is this what it's about and like you know and you know he would just always you know give me advice and just tell me how to you know give me little pointers and ways Mm -hmm. to move and then you know when I was just really talking to him about doing something he was just like man well yeah when you get something started man you know I'm definitely I'm, I'm down to play and I was like really you know all right so once everything started coming together, you know, he 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 was down for the cause, man. And and then everybody else, I mean, it was it was people I played with and and worked with for years, you know, John Ellis like, you know, played with him so so much since I, you know, when I was when I was living in New York and and then uh Chris Turner, we went to college together, you know, one of the first people I met when I when I moved to New York. So you know, it was just that, you know, that camaraderie that was just natural, you know, in putting a band together. And, you know, when I was hearing certain voices and just songs with, with vocal and, 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 and melodies, not always lyrics, and, you know, hearing, you know, more harmony with, with bass clarinet and all that, you know, those were the, the perfect guys to get for for that project. And, you know, it just all fell in, into place, man, really, really naturally you know, just playing and, and working out the music, you know, over a year's time and then just going into the studio and and, and two days just laid down just incredible music, man. It was just it was just beautiful. How have you been getting love, I guess, um, from crafting a, a style such as this? Is it is it about the venues you play, or, or, or do you really think that deep into it? I mean, for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's very calculated. I mean, I definitely wanted to create something that was, you know, true to me and, 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 and reflected my personality and just my experiences and influences, Um and you know i've i've played in in a lot of different settings like from electro bands to you know just r&b stuff rock stuff so you know it's all in me and just just growing up i i you know i was exposed to that i mean just from popular culture just growing up and just being in tune to like the alternative rock and just hip hop and everything so um i definitely in my mind set out to touch all those different arenas and people that wouldn't normally check for an instrumental band on this level and um you know and playing in certain certain places like we first started playing in like jazz clubs but you know i i I set out to play in more more different like standing room clubs and just places that you wouldn't normally see a band like this you know and um that really helped to like spread it and um you know it was just a natural thing like once people you know aren't afraid of a name or a genre once they're just in it for just the experience then you know that's that's when you got it You got a movement, like I was saying, and like just something that's fresh and new that, you know, outside of the norm, I think you can, you can blow anywhere, man, you know, as long as you're doing something to push the music, take it to the next level.
That's drummer and composer Jeremiah Williams, band leader of Iramage, a very, very unique project. Our thanks to him for spending time with us here on the show. Yours truly, the Watchman, Greg Bryant for Jazz Watch again. Follow us at twitter.com slash gbjazzwatch, facebook.com slash jazzwatch, and our mother site and blog, jazzwatch.wordpress.com. Leave us a review if you can on iTunes if you dug the show. Tell your friends about us, and we'll be back for episode five in uh, just a week or so. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep digging us. We're always on the watch for the active ear at Jazz Watch. Mm-hmm.